saga around COVID has been really hard for veterans to wrap their head around because most service members see stuff like this and they're like, BS, it's not how the military works. But here's what I discovered during COVID. Obviously, a lot of the things that took place were absurd, ridiculous, dystopian, whatever you want to call it. But at some point, the mandate was rescinded. However, what took place during the mandate was insane and affected a lot of people's lives, careers, people got kicked out. But, but the people that stayed in, they, they endured a lot. They endured uh, you know, loss of rank, um, whatever punishment they got for failing to obey you know, an order or whatever. Anyways, uh, a lot of this stuff affected them after it was rescinded. And, and I'm still seeing a lot of that. So even though it's been a while since the mandate went away, these people still you know, are, are bearing the effects of what took place. And in a lot of cases, it only got worse for them. So it, it, this, is, this is all speculation in, in Lance's case. I'm looking at his court documents. If I had to guess, I would say that he lost rank for not obeying the order. Whatever transpired after that, all of these charges that you see in the court documents was some sort of fallout from, from the initial. And, you know, the incarceration, everything that took place was, was an effect of what initially transpired with the loss of rank due to, due to the mandate. Um, so whereas everything on, nothing on there actually says that it was because of the COVID vaccine, that's how it initially started. And, you know, I look at this stuff and I see the fact that he was found not guilty on all charges, all charges. That's pretty significant to me. And that says that, hey, you know, some ham-fisted commanding officer threw these charges at him and nothing stuck. And now we're starting to see what, what took place because of that. So just food for thought for you.